everyone. Today I have Sephora Playbox for the month of September. I just got it in the mail today, so I thought I would check it out and see what was inside. It was kind of raining today, so it kind of got soggy, so let's hope that everything in the box is still okay. So here comes the little pamphlet with your 50 point extra card, and it says that this month's theme is the unbasic basics. So that's kind of interesting theme. And this is the little bag this month. There's a lipstick and it says, this is not just a lipstick. So let's find out what is in the bag this month. First thing, living proof. This says it's the perfect hair day nightcap overnight perfecter. So I'm really con worried about what that is. Like what is what does it mean overnight? It says that you get a full week of softness and shine with this long lasting weightless perfect solution that keeps your hair looking its best. Before bed, work into damp or dry hair. Distribute from root to tip, focusing on ends. Leave on overnight and then shampoo your hair or skip showering in the morning. The results will be the same either way. Wow. So this is something you put on at night and sleep in and then you can wash out in the morning or not. So I'm very excited to see like what this will do for hair. My hair is normally really straight, but I have quite thick hair. So I'm wondering if this will make it greasy because I tend to have greasier hair, but hopefully not because this sounds really good. And the next thing is this. This is Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia. Or Anastasia? Anastasia? I'm not sure how you say it. I've had this before and it's a lightweight flexible hold gel sets defines and keep brows and plates for a polished look that stays all day. So basically, it's like a mascara wand and you can coat your eyebrows with the gel to keep them down or to keep them in place so they're not like getting a stray one crazy. But yeah, so that's what it looks like. It's a mascara -y wand and you just like put it on your eyebrows and it does work really well and I've had this before. Pretty decent size so I'm glad to have another one of this to put in like my purse or something. I think that'll be really good. This is the next thing and it's Sephora Rouge Brilliance Rouge Shine and it says it's a lipstick and it came in this little box. Can you see it? So let's see what color we got first off because I hope it's not red. Oh, I like the packaging of this Sephora lipstick. It's like a silver thing. Oh, it's a nice pink. This reminds me of Bite Beauty Fig. It's kind of a more sheer formula, but like it's really shiny. Is that part of the? We'll have to see if that's part of the like claims because it's really shiny and I like that a lot. So it says that this is a rouge shine lipstick in Love Spell. It says shine right in the name. I should have known. And it says deep glossy shine meets a go-to shade of pink in this creamy moisturizing lipstick. What color is that? This is in the shade Love Spell. <laughs> Reminds me of that Victoria's Secret perfume. Anyway, this I think will be really good and I love the color a lot. So then there's this. This is a tattoo liner by Kat Von D, and I think I've had this before. This is in the shade Trooper, and I'm pretty sure this is a good liquid liner with like a felt tip. So this says it's tattoo liner and troop waterproof brush tip liquid liner glides on to reveal precise bold strokes of highly pigmented color. And I love liquid eyeliner, so I'm thrilled to get another one of these. Very easy to make a line with a very nice thin. Why isn't my camera? Let me do that. Very nice thin lines you can get and you of course can make them thicker but I like to make just I like a thin line and I love liquid liner so this is perfect for me I'm very happy to get it. this is the last thing this is Dr. Jart water drop hydrating moisturizer this is a good size um, it says that it's a water-based moisturizer provides a burst of hydration with tiny droplets while visibly plumping and boosting overall appearance with hyaluronic acid I love hyaluronic acid, so I'm so thrilled. And this is like a really good size. How big is this? 30 mil. So this is like the size of a standard foundation. Which is super nice because I feel like every found, like moisturizer you get is just like a little bitty guy. So this you can at least use for like a week, I feel like, and get your testing in. Oh, I really like that. It's very like thin. It took off my liquid liner. I love the feeling of this. I think this, this would be good almost to put on before my moisturizer it says it's hydrant illuminator instant burst of hydration for dry skin brightens dull lackluster skin long-lasting moisturization i need that i have dry skin so i'm thrilled to get something tailored to me in the sephora box i don't know if anyone else does that and i loved the dr dart bb cream that i had a long time ago so i'm excited to try this again i i recognize this brand i'm thrilled this is overall one of my favorite bags slash 
box from Sephora. I really like everything in it. I like the eyeliner. I like the lipstick color. I like the moisturizer. What else was there? The hair thing. The eyebrow gel will be great. And the lipstick and eyeliner, obviously, I like. So this was a great bag. I really liked it. Last but not least in the box, there was this. This is a perfume by Tory Burch. I almost forgot all about this. I didn't even see it. And it's called Jolie Fleur Verte. So pretty flower green. Pretty green flower. I shouldn't have sprayed it on me. It doesn't smell bad. So I'm happy that it doesn't smell. I'm happy that it doesn't smell bad that I sprayed it on me. But it's very floral. But it has like a light kind of crispness to it. So it's not bad. I don't really care for perfume samples. But Sephora always gives you one. So you just have to be expectant of that so that's what it looks like in its little package and it's a sprayer so that's always better than like a dropper if you want to see my next month's bag you can subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time bye